Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Tengku Faiz Sani bin Tengku Abdullah Sani. I'm from section 2. Uh, I'm being attend uh, Madam Shalati class in psychology and counselling. Okay, uh, I've been interested in one of the topic uh, Madam Shalati taught us is to be a good teacher. Uh, and to be a good teacher, there are certain characteristics that we, are, we have to uh, have in our personality. One of that, uh, mastering teaching skills. I've been interested in that in order to make my class have been a successful uh, learning session. Okay, uh, one of the uh, things that teacher must learn is classroom management. Most of teachers uh, take the classroom management lightly so that they on, uh, only do a chalk and talk in the class. Uh, like myself, uh, I'm the teacher that only do chalk and talk in the class before. Uh, I have been teaching and the student have been learn, uh, listening to my class. And then I uh, give the activities and they solve the activity. And then I go uh, outside of the class. I leave the class. But after I've been attend this class, uh, after, uh, I've been attend this psychology class. I've been learn how to manage the class well. I must learn on how to make the class enjoyable. I have to make sure the student participate well in my uh, session, class session. So that I uh, uh, learn the method in PAK 21 that focus more on the students so that they can participate and understand our subject well from before. When I've been doing chalk and talk only, I don't know. Uh, even uh, I don't know if they understand or not my subject. So that I think the classroom management is important to the uh, to teacher in mastering teaching skills, and then. The second one is to access prior knowledge. Uh, before, I think uh, in Mara, we did not have problem in this particular uh, characteristic because uh, Mara take us uh, because we are master in our subject, in our uh, causes. Uh, even though we did not have uh, Diploma Pendidikan, DPP. Uh, that's why they take they take us and then they send us to uh, Diploma Pendidikan because they know we are master in our uh, subject well than more than the others. Okay, after I attend to the class, I know that this is also important in order to make the student understand well what we have been teach in the class. Uh, if they ask the question, we can answer the question well because we are mastering in our class. Yes, right? Okay, now the next one is to motivate the students. We as a teacher, not only counsellor, not only the student want to motivate themselves, they go to the counsellor. We also as a teacher must have a high self-esteem so that we can motivate the students well. We must motivate the student in order to make them to uh, learn well in our class, to make them happy in our class, to make them participate well in our class. So that I think uh, this also good skills that we must learn in order to make the class successfully happen. Uh, so I think uh, before this, when uh student comes to me uh want to ask advice or want to motivate themselves they ask me what they will have to do what they want to do uh, i uh only give them the same advice without even realizing their background their uh skill of knowledge their intelligence and so on so after i attend the class i know that uh Madam Shulati teach us about PIAG, stage of age, 
uh, on what age they have to uh, accept what kind of advice uh, they have to know what uh, their master or maybe their approaches uh, or a visual audio or kinesthetic so that they can understand well so we as a teacher must know what their background what their uh, weaknesses what their strengths so that we can motivate them according to their background uh, so after i uh, learn this subject i can motivate my student well and they can accept my advice well and they can do better in their subject in their class and also in their daily life okay now to the to differentiate instruction before i i've been in the class i always give them uh, same in instruction general instruction but after i've i been in this class i can differentiate the instruction i've be given what they should do what they want to do and what they have to do so that they can uh, solve the question they can solve the problem well because they know what we want they do uh, after in the class i already i always I differentiate first the instruction before i give them the instruction for them to solve the solution okay and lastly to communicate subject matter we as a teacher must be a person that can communicate well with the students because they are my uh, they are our clients before this when students ask me for the question uh, or i always told them to find the solution themselves google or find books that can uh, answer their question but after i attend this class i know that uh, Madam Shunati told us that we are the person that are the uh, rapat, uh, the most uh, person that the students uh, uh, berharap. Uh, they are hoping for us to answer their question because we are the most uh, person that are rapat uh, to them. So that after I've been learn this subject, I've been a good teacher a better teacher so that we can communicate well uh, my student did not uh, afraid to ask me a question and i can solve their so, uh, problem so that they can understand well our subject and they happily to learn from me alhamdulillah after attending the class i think i have been improving my teaching skills uh, not only teach in the class but also a better person to be a good role model to uh, my students so that i think my student uh, love to learn with me more than before and uh, as a result uh, i've have been seen that the student uh, show good improvement in their result from past uh, past uh, examination they have been getting a good result uh, most of them get A's in their examination even though the examination are hard I think uh, I have to thank Madam Shilati for the subject for the guidance to be a better teacher from before and thank you for the guidance and have a nice day thank you Assalamualaikum